In today's show, you learn about Power Apps email attachments. That's right, attachments with an S. I realize we've covered emails before, we've covered attachments before, but we've never covered sending multiple. So we're gonna take several pictures of our camera and we're gonna bundle those up and send out one email with multiple attachments. Turns out it was a little trickier than it sounded like it should be, but the good news is, is once you see how it works, it opens up the door to some other possibilities. But first, here's our intro. Hi, my name is Shane Young with Power Apps 911. Those guys. In today's show, we're going to talk about Power Apps and emailing attachments. So it turns out that when you send attachments via email, you have a table. And normally we just kind of make that table on the fly. But in this example that was brought to us thanks to some questions by Anna, we were able to uh, actually make that table ahead of time and then just send that out. So giving us a little more flexibility around how we might send out attachments. So we're gonna look at how to send uh, you know, a photo, how to have incremental names, how to delete stuff out of that before we send it. So just a couple of good little tips. You, know, you might not need to apply today, but I think it's several different little concepts that bundle up into a nice solution and good things for you to have going forward. So let's just get started. So we'll jump over here on my desktop, we'll go to apps, and then we will say create an app. And so after a couple seconds here, I'm gonna choose the tablet layout because that's what I always like to demo from. So there you go, it loads up, we will skip out of that. And so let's throw a camera control on the screen. So insert media, camera control, boom, there it is. It's trying to figure out which camera can use and it should be that one, it is, good deal. Nice thing I have two cameras, right? So you're watching that camera, it's using that camera, weird. All right, so anyway, you get to double watch me the whole video too. I apologize, nothing I can do about that. All right, so what we wanna do is we wanna have um, a picture, right? And we wanna be able to email that. So typically what I would do is I come in here first on my camera control, and we would say, all right, on select, right? So when you click on the camera, what do we wanna do? We want to collect, so grab the picture, we're gonna call it camera pics. And what are we gonna do? We're going to just say, the uh, picture, so we'll do like so, picture equals camera one, that's the name of our camera control, dot photo. We'll close our curly brackets, close our parentheses. So just like that, every time you click on the camera control, it will save um, the camera to the collection, or the picture to the collection. Now, um, I, you know, you could do this with a button, right? A lot of times if I was actually making an app for a customer and have a camera, you know, take picture button, I think it's weird you have to press on the camera, but we're not worried about that uh, today. Okay, so when we do that, so then we wanna have a button to send the email. So we're gonna grab a button here, we're gonna say send email. And so to send an email, we need to um, add a connector, right? So we're gonna say view data sources, add a data source. And for me, I always use my good friend, the Outlook data source. Now, if sending an email, right, we're not gonna get into too much of the mechanics of it. There's a couple different videos linked down below that cover how to send an email. I've done in great detail, so we won't overdo that today. But so now that we have the data source, boom, just like that. We'll go to send email, and we're gonna type in office365 dot send email. And so if that doesn't show up for you, right, or you're getting squigglies when you follow that, because you didn't add the uh, Outlook data source. And you could use a different data source, but this is the one I know. All right, so we're just gonna send this email to me. So Shane at power, I can't even spell my own email address, powerapps911.com. Do a comma, what's gonna be the subject? Sending you pictures. It seems like a reasonable subject to me. Body, we'll say, did it work? Okay, right, so very simple email there. And you can definitely expand upon that. Um, you know, big thing a lot of people have been asking about lately is like making the body HTML, so they want to kind of send a formatted email. You can absolutely do that. You can also use Flow to send emails if you know, depending on what your need is. We're not worried about that. So I did another comma here though, right? And so this comma, everything from this comma afterwards is optional. So you can do from and CC, BC, but what we're looking for is attachments. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna type in attachments. So just like that. And so then um, we're gonna cut and paste from over here because you do not wanna watch me tag this next part. But I will explain it as soon as I do it. So copy that, paste that in, I'll make this a little bit bigger. Okay, so it says attachments table. What do you wanna name your attachment? We're gonna name it pic.jpg, seems fair. 
content by byte or content bytes. I always say content by bytes and mess it up. And what we're going to do is we're going to look into camera and we're going to, oh, quit helping me. And we're going to do the pick, right? So we're going to look at the camera picks collection and we're going to get the first camera picture out of there. And then we're going to, um, right, we'll get the pick for that. So that's the stream. That's the actual bits and bytes that make up the image. So that's going to come out of our collection where we put it in there. And the O data type is nothing. Okay. So if we do that, so we hit play, we're going to click on this once. Wait, we'll do it better. It won't matter because I didn't actually do that the first time. And so we'll say send email. You'll see the little ants mark across the screen, right? The little dots. That looks good. I will switch over to my Outlook. And so just like that, there is our pick. Did it work? Yay. So we sent a single image. Okay, so that worked. And but when I was working with Anna, she's like, hey, I don't want to send one image. I want to send, you know, two or three. Maybe it just kind of depends on how many pictures they want to take for me. Like, oh, all right. How would I do that? So the first thing I thought about was I could do like a for all, right? So for every image in the collection, I could loop through. And so I would send, if there was three pictures, I would send three emails. That didn't seem like a great idea, but it worked in my head. So that was one option. So I thought, wait a minute, this whole attachment thing is a table. A collection is a table, right? Because that's when we had to pull the first one out of there earlier. We couldn't give it all of them. We had to give it a specific record because content bytes only wants a single piece of information but it's pulling out of a table. So what if we kind of combine forces? And so that was a crazy idea I had that I kind of came up with. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say, all right, so right now we're making a table, we're making a table look like this. I'm gonna grab all that, I'm gonna copy that. We go back over to our camera and I'm gonna say, all right, on select, I need to make what the uh, email wants. So I grab this, we'll just delete, or go over top of that. And so what are we gonna do? We got name, we're going to name the file pick.jpg. Okay. And so, but contents by bytes, well, we don't want all this now. What we want is we want what's in camera one dot photo. So look at that. So now when we do the collect, when you take the picture, we're not only capturing the photo like we did before, we're also going to capture the name and the O data, which is a blank blank, but we still need to capture it. Because now what we're going to do, I kind of like what I'm thinking here, is we're going to take that camera pics collection and pass that to attachments. So what we can do here, go over to send email. And so now instead of this whole make a table on the fly, because that's what the table function did for us earlier, delete all that out. And we're just going to say attachments equals camera pics. Oh, no red squigglies. I like it. I like it. So the other thing I want to do is let's insert a gallery on the screen. So vertical gallery, it's right on top of everything as always. And so then we're going to say there's camera pics, got it. And so image one will be content by bytes, uh, you know, title name, that, that looks reasonable. So let's go over here, let's run our app now. So if I click on my picture, yay, look at that, we've made some pics. Now, that looks good. And so if I click on send email, and so then we'll wait a second, I'll jump over here and double click on email. And so did it work? There's my cute little pictures, man, I'm adorable. And you can see though, the downside is they all have the same um, name. So that didn't work for Anna either. Man, she's kind of a stickler for things. So let's make it better. So let's go over here. And so where we collect the name, so, you know, there's different options. Uh, so like if you look at my video on Excel auto increment, I talked about how just always one, two, three, four, five. And so that worked in that case, but for hers, this wasn't, that wasn't gonna be exactly right. Um, so we play with some different ideas. I can probably think about five different ways to accomplish this, but the one that her and I settled on that worked the best is we're just gonna make a variable called count. Count, we'll call it counter. We have a variable called counter and then every time that we uh, reference the variable, we're going to add one to it. Oh, but I got to put squirrely braces around it or this doesn't work. Like so, and like so, put a semicolon there. All right, so what is this going to do? So when you click on the camera button, we're going to create a variable called counter, or if it's already there, we're going to increment it by one. So the first time it'll be one, two, three, four, you kind of get the idea. And so then, then we'll do our collect, we'll say collect camera pics. 
And so for name now, what we're going to do is we're going to say you're going to be pick, and then we're going to use our concatenate function, right, to and, and counter, and so. So then now the name will be pick one.jpg, pick two.jpg, etc., etc. So let's try that out. So we hit play, we take some pictures, pick one, pick two, pick three. Very cool. So then she said, but I want to delete those also. Of course you do. It would only make sense to let users maintain it. So I'm going to get rid of this little icon because I don't need it. But I'm going to insert a trash can icon. Grab this. Oh, grab him. And so, look, I made the common mistake. What did I do? I put it outside my gallery so it doesn't show up for all the items. I do this all the time. You do this all the time. Ask me why it doesn't work. And that's why. So delete it. Make sure you're in the gallery. Now insert your trash can. Whoop. Nope. I missed again. Let's try again. Icons. Trash. Oh, my goodness. Power apps. You and me are about to fight. So let's get in our data card. Icons. Fourth time's a charm. Yay. See, now it's on all of the cards. So we know we put it in the right place. Rawr! happens though. So I wanted you to see me struggle with that because it happens to you all the time too. And so when you select this, I want to delete the picture that's there. No problem. So what we're going to do is we're going to say remove from our camera pics collection. And we're going to take advantage of galleries are awesome with this item property. So just like that, bamo whammo. So now if we hit play, I can delete pick two. If I say take click another picture, this is before, then we get pick four, right? So and then we could delete this one. And so now we just have pick three and four. If we hit send email, we're going to cross our fingers that this works. And like two minutes later, I don't know why, all the other emails came like instantly. And so I was trying to hold the air that one. That one didn't. Anyway, pick three and four show up. So bammo, whammo. We have now created an app that lets us send multiple images. And the real key was it realizing that when we did the collect, we wanted to make the table for the attachments, right? So instead of calling this camera picks, we should have called this camera attachments. And we just had the correct column names that the attachment uh, functionality wanted. And we didn't have to mess with anything over there. We didn't have to format it or worry about any of that. We did all the work here when we captured the data. So sending the email, right, this little guy, was just as simple as pie. So hopefully that helps you guys out, right? A couple little tricks along the way to, uh, make for a better experience. So I thought it was pretty neat. Thought I'd share. Um, leave me comments below. What do you think of this type of stuff? You know, is this okay where it's not really a big complicated solution, but it's a bunch of little things that just little nuggets to add to the memory banks for a later day and time. So, all right. And as always, if you want to work together like Anna and I did, hit me up on Power Apps 911, right? Anna hit me up, you know, an hour later, we had her problems all fixed and she was back to building instead of being frustrated. So, Pretty great little option uh, working together. And you get to hang out with me. Who doesn't want to hang out with me? So thanks and have a great day. Hey, it's me again. If you got a second, click the subscribe button. That always keeps me making more videos. Or if you want to work together, need some help getting your Power Apps going, hit me up at Power Apps 911. Always happy to work together. Or finally, if you're really just looking for more videos, that's probably what it is, check out the Power Apps playlist over here and you know enjoy that. All right? Thanks and have a great day.